There is a dead deer. She's down right there. Down right there, baby. Doe down. Third one of the season. Whew, that was a good shot right there. See that? See my Luminoc? Not how well you can see it there. Third doe. <laughs> See, uh, the third time I've hunted this stand. Um, it's a climber stand. I got it for free. And uh, when I walked down today, I came in off the... There's another deer in here somewhere. Maybe it was just a, a limb or something. I don't know. But anyways, so... It's gas line. Oh man, I'm shaking even. I missed a big buck yesterday, shotgun season. But the shotgun actually opened yesterday. And uh, missed a big buck. Can't shoot guns where I am right now to bow hunt only. So I said I had probably pressure all around the surrounding towns. I'll come out here and, you know, see what, hap what happens. I came up the gas line. I walked in down this trail here. Got to my stand and there were like, there were three does pretty decent sized one and looked like two little ones that were bedded down about 40 yards in front of me there so I didn't think I was going to see anything because they got up and took off and then heard this doe come in I don't know if, I don't I, I don't even know for like 25 minutes now and uh she finally came in she looked like she was getting a little further away um I missed that buck yesterday so I didn't want to miss anything else but way down there about a 25 yard shot I don't want to shoot her because like I said I didn't want to miss her and I figured she'd try and get up to that up to the uh, gas line so she did exactly what I thought she came up, circled up came right there and gave me a nice broadside actually it was a little kind of a quartering away um, shot at about I'm going to say 15 yards so right my Luminoc is right next to that little tree there so she's down we're gonna give her five six minutes and maybe even get her out before dark <laughs> so by the way this is filmed with the jackknife um, phone camera mount it uh, mounts right under your bow holds your uh, phone so you can take an awesome video like that that was pretty cool all right I'll get you guys later I'll, uh, I'll pick you up when I'm getting down out of the stand we just got down. I wasn't going to sit till dark because, like I said, I had them three does come in and I jumped them out. So, and uh, I want to get this thing out before it gets too too dark. So, I'm just going to figure out how far this shot was. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, about 19 yards right there. And you can clearly see that she was in a hurry to get out of here. Yet, uh, kicked up right there. Got uh, some hair right there. And some hair right there. And kicked up there again. That's where she kind of took off. Cool. Good little meat deer, I think. Actually, I think it was a pretty decent sized doe. You can see her laying. That arrow was just covered in blood. All the way. Oh, yeah. Real good blood. So... Stick. Let me just shut my luminosity off. Gotta get another arrow to do that. Alright. Just a doe, and I should be 
buck hunting right now, but like I said, I only can only bow hunt in this town, so that's fine with me. It's just another deer. I'm not looking for a trophy in All right, now find us a blood trail. It's, he's shooting uh, 100 grain slick tricks. I know right where she's laying, we could go right to her, but let's see how good these slick tricks opened her up. Oh yeah, there we go, so this is the second jump right here, boom, blood there, blood right there, all on those leaves, nice little pile right there. Um, let's see. This is where she turned. Right in here. Yep. I don't know how close I am to fall in that blood. It's getting kind of dark, so. You know what? Let me, um. I'm gonna cut you guys off for a minute and put my flashlight on. And then I'll pick you guys right back up. It's better. Now I can see and you can see. You can just see. How red that arrow is though. Nice lung blood. Lung butter. So let's see. Looks like she kicked up right there. Oh yeah, here we go. So there's some blood there on that leaf in there. And right there. Here she is, once again, phone died. Um, don't think there's ever a video on this channel where my phone hasn't died or shut off or something. Whatever. But anyways, um, so we got the doe, obviously. 15 yard shot, quartering towards me. Annie's right there. Audi's pretty much on the other side. Straight out, you can see. Annie's right there. And the Audi's right there. So probably a 100 pound doe, nice mature doe. Big body on her. Um, so a nice hundred pound doe or so. I wasn't going to shoot her. Um, I was actually waiting for a buck, but, um, I had one doe tag left and I was saving it for gun season, but in my town you can't hunt with a, hunt with a gun, so I had to shoot her with my bow and, you know, she came by and I haven't shot a deer since, well, for a while. So, um, I said, you know what, I'm going to take her tonight, fill my last doe tag and then concentrate on getting dad some deer and getting some uh getting some bucks so but there she is probably about a 100 pound doe nice real mature doe didn't go 40 yards um hit the heart and the lungs top of the lungs bottom of the heart um both got both lungs so she like i said she didn't go more than 40 yards but there she is and it was a good shot good recovery and good day hunting and now it's snowing so hopefully we can uh get out again and get after some bucks with the shotguns this weekend and uh hopefully we can get another one down can never have too much deer meat and can always give it away so but anyways there she is it's time to uh go in warm up and cook up some damn tender tenderloins so all right wish me luck hope you guys have all had a good season in the woods and a safe one at that and uh i'll see you the next time